I'm Tom from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we're taking a detailed look at the Manal Carrion 3.0 and comparing it with the Manal Carrion 2.0. More information on both of these bags over at packhacker.com, link down in the description below. I do think there are a ton of upgrades and improvements with the 3.0, but there are still some caveats with the 3.0 that I wish they had upgraded further. So all that and more in this video, let's get into it. All right, so on this side here, we have the Carry-On 2.0 by Manal, and this is the 3.0. If you want a just quick, surefire way to tell them apart, you got this new white logo on the new one. The old one's got this blue logo. So as I get into it, as we talk about it more, tend to get a little mixed up as you're watching. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind as a baseline. So overall, I mean, very similar. You can see the shape on the front here. Everything's, uh, you know, this is basically just like kind of, I would say like slight improvements. I think there's a couple missed opportunities on 3.0, which we'll get into, but there are like slight improvements and a lot of really great stuff that's been implemented, which I can appreciate. So the first thing and the biggest, one of the biggest things here is the fabric. So there, are, uh, this is the, the new one here. It has 600D Picton fabric, which is a little bit slicker in the hand as I'm just feeling them right now and it does pick up less dirt and dust. So in our Manal daily uh, comparison on the 1.0 versus the 3.0, there was no 2.0 by the way, so it's kind of the same iteration as this one. Um, it picked up a lot less dust and fluff after dragging them across a rug. So go take a look at that comparison if you wanna see the difference. But as you can see, like it's not, it's not immune to getting scuffs. So I've tested this one for three weeks, got a little bit of kind of white uh, stuff there and then we've got some dust and things like that on the top so it's not immune but i will say that it is a lot better additionally there is 1200 denier fabric at the bottom on the reinforced points so on the new one you can see that it's a bit of a thicker fabric here uh in terms of denier thicker thicker yarn rather that makes up the fabric that just reinforces it a little bit more on these abrasion uh prone areas the rain covers, now that we're back here, about the same in width as well. But we'll get that, we'll get into that in a second. So um, yeah, there were some improvements on the water bottle pocket, but I still think that it's not that great. I just think it doesn't really fit well inside of here. Go look at our reviews of either of these bags and you'll see why I'm not gonna get into that. What I will say is at the bottom here <coughs> on the 2.0, just that nylon or that, that material goes right into the bag. And here they've actually added some elastic. So this can get a little bit bigger and flex a little bit more. Uh, but overall, I still, I mean, you got the gusseting here that makes it a little bit bigger. And you got, I guess, some reinforced bar tacks here on the new one, which is nice. You'll add some durability with that. Uh, just kind of that extra stitching you see at the top. But it's still, you know, not very stretchy. And while I was testing this, my Yeti Rambler 18 ounce fell out of this thing more times than I can count, even while using the included uh, elastic band. So your mileage may vary based on the water bottle you have, but I think that's the biggest opportunity for Manal to improve with the 4.0, and I'm surprised they didn't do it uh, with, with uh, the 3.0 here. Handles in the sides, pretty much the same. You've got that angled uh, kind of attachment to center it a little bit more when you carry. We have some pretty similar hardware here at the top for the compression straps too. So not a ton has changed there that at least I can see. They did say they have like a bunch of other improvements here as well that just, you know, maybe I won't notice, but maybe some of the patterning or things like that has improved as well. But I'll just kind of cover the stuff that I've seen as we continue along. So both harness systems fit on the back here. Let me unzip these. And of course, if you look at our reviews, these roll into the top areas, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna kinda keep these open so we can see what's going on. So a big difference here in terms of the back panel, you can see here that 
This, on the new one, it's kind of inset in the back a little bit. You don't have this extra stitching on the outside like you have here. That's all kind of set on the inside of the bag. So it's a cleaner look. And I did find this to be slightly more comfortable than 2.0, but not a massive difference. But I will say that it's an improvement there. Now with the straps, they're thicker as well. So you can see they're edgeless too. So you have this edge on the Manal 2.0. That can start to dig into you if you really have this filled up with some heavy gear like camera gear or things of that nature. But here on the new one, they're edgeless and they're thicker, which provides for a more comfortable ride. So big upgrade there on the harness system in terms of comfort. One of the pieces of feedback we had on 2.0 that they implemented here on 3.0 as well, and maybe some of you brought this up to them too, is that the hardware for the sternum strap is smaller too. So if you look at the size difference there, they got a big sternum strap buckle on 2.0, and then they've chosen a smaller one here on 3.0, which I appreciate. So you're just gonna get kind of less stuff, which is always nice when you're traveling. This is a bit thicker, you can see while well, this strap is a bit thinner. So if I hold those next to each other, you can kind of see that difference. So a bit of minimiz minimization there, which we can appreciate. Lost the logo on the front here. We still have those numbers down below. I would say maybe it's a little more legible, so you can tell like the TSA or gate agent what size it is. A little more legible on the new one, but it's still kind of black on black. It's, it's hard to see. This one's been tested and we've had it around for longer too, so this one might fade, but it does, does look a little bit better. One thing that I noticed that doesn't happen on the new one either is you don't get these wrinkles, at least so far, on the back. It's kind of just more of like a standard meshy-like material on the back here. So, little small detail, nothing too crazy, but I, I love getting into all these little details. The plastic hardware at the bottom here has changed too. You got a little bit of a slicker look and it's a little bit skinnier here in uh, 3.0 as well. Space down here for a hip belt. We do have an attachment point on the uh, 3.0 as well, but we just don't have that attached. So can't really say much about the specific comparison of the hip belt because we don't have that on. But um, overall, this one did its job, and I would assume there's that thicker padding on the 3.0 one that's just that much better. There's also a stash pocket here on 3.0, which I appreciate. That hidden pocket that you can put you know, your wallet into, your passport that's towards your back. You can see that does not exist here on 2.0. So that's a little bit of an upgraded feature. Great for a travel backpack, which I can appreciate. And while we're looking down here, you can just see this little tab here at the bottom. And what that does is it provides a nice little place for you to grab onto as you're zipping and unzipping the bag. That's not on 2.0. So I like that bit of an upgrade there. It's always nice to have these things, have something to grab onto when you're zipping and unzipping your bag. Space down at the bottom for the rain covers. In uh, 3.0, the rain cover does fit a little more snugly and better on the bag for added weather resistance. So you've got some uh, improvement there. But let me just close these up. I think we got everything. I mean, the load lifters are very similar. You've got the magnetic hardware here at the top that you can attach. And um, you know, not a, not a lot of other big changes here. So let me just zip these up just to kind of keep those straps out of the way as we are continuing to look through the rest of the features. And we're gonna get into what I think is one of the best upgrades here on 3.0. And this is almost, I think, makes it worth upgrading if you have 2.0 and you are looking to upgrade. There's not a huge difference between these bags, but this one might convince you. So I'm just opening the back little laptop area now. Now on the Manal 2.0, it just opens kind of halfway there. So there's no zipper that goes down on this side and you can open it and you can fish as to, as to get inside and things like that. But this lies completely flat, which I appreciate. You get better access to your tech gear. You get you know, better access to this little admin organizer pocket here, which I think is really nice. So big upgrade there. I like the buckle here. It's way easier to undo in the newer version than the older version. You've got this G-hook, which can take some fiddling. Um, yep, so there we go, got that off. 
Very similar organization down here at the bottom though, you've got this extra little pocket where you can slide in like a passport or a, a notebook. And with a 3.0, you've got that down here as well, kind of that same thing. Now, while we're at it, let's take a look at the liner. Um, it's a little more matte and kind of this microfibery material on 3.0, which I appreciate. And the liner on the previous one is a little more swishy. So, I mean, they're both swishy, swishy, but the previous one had more of a swish to it. New one feels a lot better, a lot more quality in the hand. And then I will say too that the device nest got wider on this one to accommodate for, I think, bigger laptops and 16 inch MacBook Pros now. So it's wider. You still have one, two, three points of adjustment there to get that size to your laptop correctly. You got three points of adjustment here as well. But yeah, improvement to the device nest on this one and you can open it completely like this, which is nice. All right, moving on. Now let's take a look at the top exterior pockets. So let me just zip this up again to get it out of the way. So the top exterior pockets open the, up there at the top, pretty similar. I mean, you've got just nice space on the inside. Then you've got that mesh pocket on the back as well. Still, still the same kind of blue key clip in there as well. So not much of a change there. And then you've got the top drop pocket. Same story here. Obviously it's got that new liner here. Let me just pull that liner up so you can see it. It's like way tighter of a knit on there, which I like. It's just kind of microfibery. It seems easier to, to work with. It's less swishy, feels better in the hand. So I think that liner is a pretty big upgrade. Now let's open up the main scoop area, which doesn't have a much of a difference. I'm just looking for the zippers here. I got zipper mania going on. Open that up. We will do the same here for 2.0. Where is that? Zipper, there we go, at the top. All right, and then we have a bit of a difference here, you can see, so 3.0 has got that liner going on throughout the inside of this scoop, whereas 2.0, you got the little Manal logo there, but that's kind of the interior of that exterior fabric. You can see that it's a little tarpy, uh, but there's no liner on top of this. So just note that, I do, again, I like the liner a lot better. Now the back here, very, very similar in terms of layout. We've got this mesh pocket. A lot of companies will kind of change their mesh. Doesn't look like they did that here, so it's the same. But yeah, same kind of pocketing layout. But the one thing that's changed here is that the shirt protector attachment points are now elasticated on 3.0. That's what I have up here. And then on 2.0, they're just like this nylon. So when you're dealing with variable size pockets that can go up or down, I think a bit of stretchiness to that to get the shirt protector to lay in nicely is just overall a great idea. So love the little improvements I've seen. There's probably a bunch more that we just didn't cover in this video, but I think I got the main ones. So there you have it, the Manal Carry-On 2.0 versus the Manal Carry-On 3.0. A bunch of great upgrades. If you're looking as to whether or not you'd upgrade, I think the two biggest things to look at are the new Picton fabric that's a little bit more slick. It deters dust a little bit more. And if you like the way that the bag opens up and you can get access to your laptop and your tablet a lot easier with 3.0, that's another consideration as well. So thanks for taking a look at this video. Head on over to packhacker.com for more information on both of these bags. Links down in the description below, and we'll see you in the next video.